I'd say we get two caravans in that one. <laughs> and how, this one maybe three. And how many are you looking for then, Richard? About 86 families only. Okay, and at what road is this? This is quite close to Dale Farm, this isn't is it? Quite, this is the main Wickford Road, yes. Okay. You know, we've got this black paved drive and I don't know how many caravans fit in this one. I'll have a look around now, wait a minute. Oh, there's a bit of green. Look. A bit of green, yeah. Make it one and that one. Yes, okay. And. Oh, there's a good one, look. There's a good one, yeah. I don't think that like us pulling our caravan in there because there's a man have a car on that drive. Oh, yes. He's got a dog. Okay. Excuse me, would you think you get many caravans in those driveways? Some caravans. We want to put some caravans in there. Would it be okay? Will you ask? Will you find. Would you, would you ask him for me? <laughs> How many are about? Uh, maybe five. And there's that. a good spot in the back yeah. as well, isn't there? I think so. We'll have a look at that one uh, tomorrow. And who, yes, and who else? Oh yes, there with car sales. Yeah. A few there. How are you? Make plenty of space because we need room for caravan. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> He said yes. Yes, good. There, you've got some supporters here, haven't I you, really? So. I think so. There's a couple. Look, they look good. They How look are you? They're a bit skeptical. <laughs> but on this road, I said we got about seven caravans, you know. <laughs> Next to the telephone box. <laughs> you Malcolm we're just looking around the place to park some caravans you don't need space down here all right then the, the officer might show us okay then <laughs> thanks <laughs> my friend. Hey, hey, hey. We'll, we'll be your neighbor next week. That's it. And the other what do you think, Richard? Is that a good spot there? I don't know. There's a lot of apples and that's near, very near a river though. You need, you need some water. You need some water. The horses drink the water and the kids eat the apples though. Good. But that's not down the fence though. Yeah. Not too much of a problem. Uh, hello. We'll be your neighbours very soon. <laughs> I know, but uh, I got up there, it was too late. How are you anyway? It's nice to see you anyway. saying that there's going to be another appeal in the week at the court. Do you know about that? I do. There's going to be lots of courts. Huh? Yeah. The one to watch out for is the one in Strasbourg. Right. When a German judge would be judging the British society. Yeah. You know. So still hope. Well, I, I feel sorry for the taxpayers of England. Two hundred and twenty-four million pounds could be saved. Yeah. Yeah. You were saying when was at the station? I'm not saying it's fact. Check it out. The Common Ground Report. Yeah. Have you checked it out? No, no, no. I haven't. Common ground report done by the CRE. The CRE, yeah. Common ground report. Okay. It was 18 million pounds a year to keep them on the road, yeah? Mm. That was in the VAT of 15.5%. Today's time at the VAT, 20%. 20%. Yeah. So that brings up 21 million 500,000. Yeah. So they do it over a period of 10 years. It's well over 200 million, 10 years. Yeah. And 18 million for the eviction, 2 million pounds legal fees. Well over 220 million. They could build a site for less than 2 million for travellers to develop it themselves. But this is a racist council, you see. What? When was that report, Richard? Five, six years ago. Okay. It's called the Common Ground Report. Ring up your office and tell them to check it out. Yeah, we'll do. Common Ground Report, it's called. It's done by the CRE. All right? Go have a look. Give me your card and get an email to you if you want. Okay. I've got Have you got a phone number? Have you got a phone number? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you an email address. Hang on, I'm sorry, just kick it. Hang on. Hang on. Hello? 
we far back from the, from the rest uh, of the... Yeah, about a hundred miles to go, sir. <laughs> no, I mean from, from the rest of the march. I can hear them, just about. Um, about the sort of traveller community in, oh, in general, because you know, like I was talking to a few residents, you know, there were so loads of residents that came out and were taking pictures, and, and I was saying to them, What do you think about it, about the march and about the council action and the whole issue? And they said, Oh, it's gone on too long now, it's time that the, the traveller community moved on. This is, you know. They're basically saying it's it's out of order. It's council tax money and all this sort of stuff. Well, the, the, the Basel District Council have a duty to provide 62 pitches in the ex Essex area. They could build for a few million quid, mate. They're yeah. giving 18 million pound of your taxpayers' money, wasting it, and they're going to be wasting every day evicting the people. There's no adult approach being taken here, so you know. The um, the other some of the supportive residents that I spoke to that said some interesting things we're along the lines of you know you're part of the community now the travellers down here 50 absolutely no trouble exactly you know, and 40% of the side is only getting evicted 60% of the side is always going to be there yeah so the words of justification of that Do you, do you, you know, the travellers here, they feel part of the community? Do you think well, they're residents? Well, they've welcome? been bred, born and raised here for the last 10 years. You know. Yeah, there's people that have been born here, go to school here. Yeah, that's correct, sir. If I deprive a child of an education, so I'm breaking the law, yeah? Yeah. Well, if the council is forcing me to break the law, they're legally breaking the law. Would you not agree? Yeah. adult approach in the 21st century sentiment. Yeah. There's definitely, do you think there's more sympathy coming? Well, we are human beings, so you know what I mean? Human rights. Yeah. Well, this council want to treat us the same as the Adolf Hitler treated the Gypsies and the Jews in 1942 at the time of the war, you know. That's exactly the way they want to treat us. All they short of doing is gassing us, you know what I mean? There was one other thing I, I thought would be worth asking. Do you think, and I don't want to get... Not racist, but do you think this would be different if it was a, a camp full of people, black people? A lot so, different. Then it would be racist, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's what The I only thing gypsies and travellers haven't done was cause... Was, uh, uh, the only thing they haven't done was cause rights. Hmm. Keep yourselves to yourselves, that sort of... Because that's what some residents said. Look, they keep themselves to themselves. It was a scrapyard that wasn't really up to much That's anyway. right. So... so leave and be sort of thing. Do you, would you go along with that? I, of course I would. And we could save the taxpayers 224 million. Mm. That's what we could save them. And above all, it could be a peaceful resolution. Could be. I'm going uh, to catch up a little bit. All right, so what? It's getting a bit busy. <laughs> all right, do you so reckon, sir, they could spend 230 million better? Yeah, not him. 18 million for an eviction yeah. and 200 million to keep them on the road for 10 years. Yeah, well, it's, you know, they should, they should is it good value for money? Lift the people alone. They're crazy, isn't it? Yeah. All right.